Good morning. Good morning. Rise and shine. Say good morning, Jamie. Morning. You look like a corpse in a coffin at your wake. <laughs> yes, he's finally dead. Jesus Christ. So we're currently on the most gorgeous island. This is our view. Look, oh yeah. Wow. So the sea is right bloody there. And waking up to this is the most pleasant thing. So we're on an island called Koh Rong and it's in Cambodia. They call it the Maldives of Cambodia because it's very similar to how the Maldives looks. It's just a lot more affordable. It's basically just loads of white sand beaches and then these bodies of water that just stretch as far as the eye can see. And it's like crystal clear blue water. It's very beautiful. It's very remote. There's no supermarkets. There's hardly any shops, not many restaurants. It's really not touristy here yet. It's a little bit touristy, but not really. I think in 10 years, it'll look very, very different because they're currently, you know, building more resorts and hotels and stuff. And the accommodation we're in right now is very basic, but it's honestly all you need. The bungalows are really small and cute. The aircon's really good. And just being right on the beach is just waking up to the sea. is just absolutely gorgeous. I wake up instantly feeling relaxed. We've basically just been waking up, going for breakfast here because the nearest restaurant is like 25 minute drive away and just not really doing very much. And after four months of constant travel, it's really nice just to be somewhere that's really slow paced and where you don't feel the pressure to do anything. You can kind of just wake up and exist. And I'm sure the remoteness would get boring eventually, but for now it's very, very nice, very calm, very serene. It's gorgeous we're having a lovely time so i think we're gonna go for brekkie soon because it's getting on well it's not getting on at all really it's quarter past eight but the tummies are rumbling mama's getting a little bit hungry so this is out the front of the bungalow i think there's about eight bungalows and they're very cute i'll show you inside later on and then you walk out here there's always a little doggy underneath here having a little snooze and she's so adorable she has the most gorgeous blue eyes and then you just walk down here the beach the sea is right there and it's so gorgeous i swear to god i could live here there's a few sunbeds there and then this is the restaurant where you can have breakfast lunch and dinner i'll get a menu so the food options here and on the island in general are very meat heavy and we don't eat meat, so it has been a little bit of a challenge, but we've been managing fine. We found a couple of nice spots that do really good food with tofu and stuff like that. And for breakfast, I've usually just been getting a fruit plate, which does me fine because the fruit here is delicious. I also am very, very, very gluten intolerant, so I can't have bread, which is an added challenge. But I've been managing fine. The food we've had has actually been really, really good here. Good morning, my darling. We just came hobbling over in the background. Good morning. I've got a little bit of a scratchy on his foot. You're covering cuts and scrapes at the minute, aren't you, my dear? It's from... I'm not going to say snorkeling, but... Swimming in the sea. Lots of sharp edges. Lots of sharps. Lots of sharks and sharp edges. I cannot speak this morning. Get me that cup of tea. There's lots of, like, coral and stuff in the water here, so you have to be... Careful. Have you ordered your tea? No. That's all of my coffee. Rude. I swear to God, just being next to the ocean just makes your body feel so much calmer. We also brought our own stash of soy milk. And guys, I don't know what's happened to me. I have always been a three sugars or three sweeteners in my tea kind of girl. But I've been really enjoying having a cup of tea here without any sugar. And I never thought I would say that. It may be because the soy milk has sugar in, so it's making it a little bit sweet. But been thoroughly enjoying okay shoot me shoot me no, to the floor. <laughs> oh, i feel like i really need a poo but it's not coming i've also if you know me you'll know i'm a bit of a matcha whore there's no matcha to be seen here and i bought some matcha powder and it's absolutely grotesque so i've been back on the english breakfast teas and i've been thoroughly enjoying i can't lie scrummy Maybe I do want a bit of sugar in that. You look very pretty this morning. Pretty? Yeah, pretty. Your skin's glowing. The hair looks slick and sexy. And green's just your colour. It's all the aloe vera I've been lathering on. The birds. Thumbnail with me. 
gonna thumbnail with me. Yeah. No. Okay. I need to move my chair. I want just. Oh my god. Look at that. Jamie. Absolute disgrace. Fruit plate for me, beans on toast for the boy, and he also does a little dessert toast with peanut butter and banana. Steals one of my bananas. My personal favourite is always going to be the dragon fruit. Ooh, it's nice and cold, like it's been in the fridge. Mmm. Just reaching over for the salt, don't mind me. Don't mind me? How's the mango today? Mmm. Yummy. An artist at work. So precise. So I could do with some little chia seeds. A little sprinkle. And some cacao nut nibs. Hello. Hello. What you doodling? A little mouse riding a cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Show the finished piece. Ah. Oh. Like when show and tell, you don't fit. Face when you used to like show off your. That's really good, Jamie. Look how well he's shaded between the lines. You can go over a single line. You need to sign it at the bottom like a true artist. A true artist. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy Bailey. This gorgeous baby. Oh. There's look at bird. Are you gonna do kisses? Go on, do a few kisses just for me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna drive to this beach called Lonely Beach. It is so incredibly gorgeous. The landscape of it, it's like my eyeballs can't comprehend how gorgeous it is. It's just this crystal blue water for what looks like miles. It's so gorgeous. And there's a nice little restaurant there. It's a very rustic restaurant, no fans, no aircon or anything. Um, but the food is really, really nice. They make the most delicious freshly made bread. Everything is freshly made because basically you can't really buy anything processed here. Um, not even the restaurants for their kitchens. They basically just have to make everything themselves. So everything's very fresh, very delish. So yeah, let's go to the beach. This skirt, she's so cute. I love her. She's from Bershka from a couple of years ago. She's my ride or die holiday skirt. She's very, very cute indeed. to be a little friend in the water there. We thought it was a fucking crocodile or an alligator, but it's a buffalo. Hi, baby. Ooh. Oh, spray of the nose. You having a little dip? It is very hot, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. The roads down to this beach are a little bit crazy. They're a little bit bumpy, bumpy and grindy, but luckily Jamie's quite good on the moped. I perhaps wouldn't recommend it to somebody who doesn't have much experience on a moped because they are so bumpy. If I tried to drive it personally, it would be a fucking disaster. I don't think we would make it out alive. What's that? A big stick. You like a dog with a stick? Is that for your sciatica? Yeah. Here she is. It's so gorgeous. It doesn't really translate to camera how gorgeous it is, but it's just so vast and so big. It's so pretty and the water is so clear. It's so nice to swim in. There's literally one restaurant here and one accommodation, like a few bungalows. There's nowhere to buy drinks or anything. It's just so, so remote. It's called Lonely Beach for a reason. It is indeed lonely, but it's so calming and it's so nice because you don't get signal here. I mean, we don't have SIM cards anyway, so we never have signal, but there's no Wi-Fi. So you just get to really switch off when you're here. It's so beautiful. Hello gorgeous, you're very handsome. Very handsome indeed. Hey, we've come to this little restaurant on the beach. It's so cute. The menu is just written up there. I got the jungle salad the other day. I think I'm just gonna get it again because it was so good. Hi cherubs, I just spent about 40 minutes in the water and it was glorious. The water's just so still, you can just lie and float there. It's like being in one of those tanks called? Uh, septic, no, not a septic tank. No, uh, 
Oh, oh, come on, you should know this. Joe Rogan talks about them all the time. Mm -hmm. You know those flotation tanks that rich people do where you, it's like your body temperature and you just lie there and float and it's supposed to be really relaxing and good for you. It's like that, I assume. I haven't done it myself. He's remembered. A sensory deprivation tank. That's right. You're so clever. Oh, bad. Oh, so pretty. Hi. I'm going to show you guys the toilet here because it's rustic to say the least. So it's just in the middle of this shack and it doesn't even flush. You have to use this toilet. <laughs> oh my god. It looks really gross, doesn't it? You have to flush the water down the toilet to make it flush. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is a lot of people's worst nightmare. To be honest, would prefer a clean indoor toilet. But you know, you've got to you've got to get in touch with nature in this life. I'm doing the old hover number because I don't want to put my butt cheek I can imagine a murder taking place in this very toilet. I can also hear some kind of weird animal creature lurking on the ceiling. Also, again, no running water, so they fill this little coconut bowl up with water and then you tip it and, oh, it needs refilled. But usually water falls out the bottom of there and it's kind of like a makeshift tap, you know what I mean? This is how we used to live back in the day, guys. I'm just getting in touch with my inner cave woman. Okay, so this is the salad. It's got mango, passion fruit, uh, pineapple, this delicious tofu with some kind of glaze on top. It's very yummy. Cabbage, and then this is a creamy dressing. This is like a French onion dressing. And this homemade bread is unbelievable. It's so good. Bit of mango, bit of tofu, bit of salad. The perfect bite. Mm. And we got this tofu stir fry with peanut sauce and rice. It looks absolutely scrumptious. We have a dinner guest. Oh, he's all hot. Smashed. Nice. Done. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. It's a fucking unit. It's so heavy. It's really good, actually. Cool. Pretty cool, it's not warm, it's just like room temperature. Yeah. I got some precautionary ice because there's nothing more grotesque than a warm coconut. As somebody who struggles with anxiety quite a lot, I'm going to stop saying, I'm, I've stopped saying I'm an anxious person because I just think it reinforces it and you kind of just put this label on yourself as an anxious person. So I've started to say, as somebody who sometimes struggles with anxiety, come into a place like this where there's just basically no stimulation other than the nature that's around you as cringy as that sounds it's so good for me because i just feel like my brain is constantly on overdrive i find shutting my brain off from its own thoughts really really hard and being in a place like this is just so perfect because i can just come to the beach be next to the ocean I have no Wi-Fi so I can't scroll on my phone because that's such a toxic trait that I have. I just scroll on my phone all the time even though I know that it's making me feel like shit. And I think that is a balance because obviously I love social media, I love creating content. It's my biggest passion in life at the minute. I absolutely love doing it and I love watching other people's content but it, there's a balance. There's a certain amount of time you can spend on it and I think I definitely, like a lot of us these days, push the boundary with that and definitely go over the amount of time that is healthy for our little brains so just being somewhere where I can't go on my phone I'm just with nature I just put my headphones on listen to a podcast listen to, to some music have my little coconut it's perfect and I feel so lucky to be here and you know it was such a big decision for me deciding whether to come traveling because I'd already done it four years ago me and Jamie actually came traveling before to Southeast Asia and we only came for five months and we kind of felt like our time wasn't done so we always wanted to come back eventually um but that was four years ago and then the pandemic hit and whatnot deciding to come again it was just it was even scarier than the first time for some reason and i'm just so glad i did it because i still have my days where i feel anxious and i still have my days where i struggle with things obviously i'm human your troubles don't just disappear when you come traveling that's not what happens um, I think a lot of people come travelling thinking that all of their, every problem they have in their life is just going to diminish, but that's not what happens, you know, they come with you, it's just you can deal with them in a very different way than when you're at home. Um, and I'm just, I, 
it's moments like this, it's days like this where I just feel very lucky to be here and to be doing this. And if it's something that you're thinking about doing, I would 100, 100, 100% recommend it as scary as it sounds and as scary as it feels. You just got to do it. If you're thinking about it every day and it's something that you can't stop thinking about and you really, really want to do it, you just got to bite the bullet, baby, and you just got to do it. And like I say, every day is not perfect, far from it, but overall, I'm just, I'm feeling very happy right now. Very happy. And just this beach, I cannot get over it. It is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. cherub so i haven't filmed since last night because we've just been lazing around all day like lazy lazy loose and now we're gonna get the paddle you can rent paddle boards no not paddle boards paddle boats you know what i mean the little boats that you paddle on you know what i mean you can rent them from the hotel not even rent actually they're free which is really cool i'm just gonna go out on the water there's a little island over there i think it's a private resort so i don't know how close you can go to it or whatever we're just gonna have a little paddle and see where the see where the water takes us do you know what i mean uh this bikini i bought it in bali it's very very cute let's go in the ocean obviously we have to have the pink one off we go so we're at sea oh my god that was like a bloody shoulder workout but like i was at the gym it was very fun though and basically it's jamie's birthday tomorrow and you cannot buy birthday cards here whatsoever you can't really buy anything here and i refuse not to give him a little birthday card so i'm gonna draw him one make him one it's gonna be very rustic basically a folded over bit of paper with some kind of drawing on the front but it's better than nothing i'm gonna have a green tea and then tonight there's this fancy-ish restaurant that we're gonna go to and um, which is shut on his actual birthday so we're gonna have his birthday meal tonight and probably some kind of birthday meal tomorrow night as well this is the excuse to go out and have two meals i mean i guess we go out for a meal every single day <laughs> we haven't cooked a meal in about four months but you know what i mean an extra special meal i can't open this so i'll show you the finished product of whatever i conjure up guys i did a nanolan one because we just send and tag each other and show each other nanolan memes all day we love it me especially and why why is this actually quite good like excuse me i'm very happy with that i actually think that's quite good am i delusional this beautiful man look at that gorgeous luscious lock of hair good morrow what right over dinner got some salted nuts scrummy they're really good aren't they they're really good. Mm. The wine is not really good. So we've got popcorn cauliflower. It looks so good. And some fresh spring rolls, obviously. And a peanut sweet chili dip. Brought the mains at the same time, but that's okay. Tofu with noodles and peanut sauce and a, a mock curry. Yum. These were a mess, but everything else was absolutely delicious. Like 10 out of 10, so flavorful. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the best dessert. Death by mango sticky rice. <laughs> I'm so full. And Jamie couldn't finish his, so I polished his off also. Just the rice. Just the rice. Well, yeah, the rice is the <laughs> the hardest part. Nobody wants just sticky rice, though. What, with delicious sweet coconut milk on top? Mm. So full. Oh. That's all for this vlog, sweet peas. See you in the next one. Love ya. Swagger down the street with your red